All right, hello everyone. I am back with my friend Chris Corsi. Hi, Chris. Hey, good to be here. Thank you, Chris. You're amazing. <laughs> I just gotta tell you, Chris. Many, many years ago. How many years ago did you start getting this message of joy and relational connection and attachment? It's been over 20 years. I've been working in this garden. Oh, Chris. Yeah. Man, and you have been so faithful, Chris. I mean, all the books that you've written. And now you started an organization called Thrive, Thrive Today, and you put on these workshops that teach people relational skills, probably the most important skills we could ever learn. I mean, we're on the planet for love. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it really is. It, these are skills that help us to be the best version of ourselves, mm. the side of heaven. Yeah. So right. if we're, if the point of life is love God, love God people love ourselves love people and then love our neighbors and maybe even our enemies mm -hmm. then we should probably learn relational skills because relationships are high quality love yes so skills i mean emotional intelligence the soft skills i'm telling you if a company chris talk to me just even if a business person said you know soft skills like people liking each other at work and liking their customers is that important Oh goodness. You know what, what's, what's great about relational skills is it, you know, it helps us to hold on to what's important. So when we connect with people, people feel seen and valued. Mm -hmm. And so we can still be good at all aspects of our job, but the, the people parts, those can be very sweet and meaningful. And, mm. and that leaves a good taste in everybody's mouth. Oh man. It's, you know, people, yeah, we need a paycheck, but we really want to we wouldn't really want to work for higher, more altruistic reasons. You know, yeah. we want meaning in our, in our jobs, That's right. in our relationships with people. We don't want to show up and, you know, hate, hate the people we work with and hate right. our bosses. And that's right. You know, that's terrible. So all of these things bleed into our marriages, mm -hmm. uh, work. I mean, <laughs> the whole world is run by relationships and emotional intelligence. You're right. So You're right. puts a high premium on what you do, Chris. Thank you. Well, you know what? It's changed my life. And I want to share that with the world, honestly. Like yeah. if it can change me, <laughs> I'm confident it can change anybody. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Same here, for sure. Okay, so Chris, we want to now, you know, let's imagine that we're all shut down. We're not that relationally intelligent, emotionally healthy. And I, 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 I'm, I've heard what you just said. I'm like, joy, my joy level is low. I'm not doing good what help me get out of this hole give me a couple of skills a couple of thoughts practical help okay. get me out of this hole you know the first thing i probably have to do is we now know that even just something simple as taking a deep breath from your belly taking that deep breath actually um activates the brakes of your nervous system so you can quiet like anxiety fear anger those high energy emotions so just breathing not shallow breathing from up here but like that deep belly breathing that simple skill alone is oh, one yeah. of the ways that helps us kind of reset for a moment. Okay. Now, if you're watching this, let's do this. Let's take another breath. Chris, lead us. All right. Everybody take a deep <laughs> breath from your belly. And just exhale and just notice how it feels even to do that. Yeah. So that would be the first step. The second I would have you do is just remember a special moment that made you smile. So it could have been seeing the sunrise this morning on your way to work, um, just a, a meaningful interaction with a colleague or a family member. So I would just have everybody just kind of pause and remember the good stuff. I call this package joy with just, these are the presents we can open anytime. Ooh, come on, and that's good. Free. So, you know, for me, I would think about just having some fun earlier today with one of my sons who was playing in the snow Mm -hmm. Just being able to see the, the look on his face as he's playing in the snow, making snow angels and throwing snowballs at me. Uh, you know, just just thinking about that moment, uh, I could almost I can already just feel some calm and I just feel this warmth inside of me and I, I feel present here with everybody. Mm -hmm. So that's how easy this can be. Yeah. A golden memory. Yeah. Of a time with, that made me smile. So yeah. You all got that now in your head. Good. Excellent. What yeah. next? I'm feeling gratitude. When I see all of a sudden gratitude fills my heart. I think that 
What do you say? Is gratitude a big thing? You know, it is. I mean, the, the great thing about gratitude is just thinking about the things that we're thankful for. Mm -hmm. It helps this relational circuit in our brain to wake up. It's like turning on the lights in a room. Ooh. So we can we remember joy anytime we can notice what are we thankful for. So even just thinking about something that I'm thankful for, which would be our time today. Like I'm thoroughly enjoying my time hanging out with Me you too, and Chris. just thinking about that. Like I feel the smile on my face. I just feel mm -hmm. my shoulders relax. Um, this is a gift from God. And so I'm just enjoying that gift. So all of our friends, as, as you think about, what you're thankful for. Maybe you have several thoughts of what you're thankful for today. You know, thinking about that, it helps if you tell someone. So just mm -hmm. verbalizing it or verbalizing it with Jesus um, can be helpful, but just being able to express that yeah. will help uh, wake up that relational circuit in your Come brain. On. That's awesome. And, um, and you know, the icing on the cake, if, if people always like a bonus step, which would be as you feel the peace from this joy, <laughs> We might say, Lord, is there anything on your mind for me today? Is there any thoughts that you would like to share with me as I enjoy thinking about your gifts? And so just that sense for me, just that sense of Jesus being here with us, delighting over mm -hmm. our interaction. I just have this just very secure picture in my head of Emmanuel delighting over our interaction, which is put some security here like oh yeah like this is the rock i can rest on right here yeah, man. and so just taking a few moments to just interact with the living god and mm -hmm. yeah so lord any thoughts you would like to share with me today as i remember your gifts so do that right now let's do that so ask the lord is there anything that you want me to know pay attention to we call it thought rhyming impressions pictures words Ask him. I just felt his reassurance, Chris, that we're on the right track and that that he really is going, he is really pulling off a relational revolution and he's going to change the paradigm of the way we do church. That's exciting. And I just felt a big surge of faith hit my spirit. Wow. That what feels like such an impossible thing. Mm -hmm. And God says, watch me, watch wow. me. I'm going to open doors. I'm going to I'm going to convince even the most hardened um, leaders that this is the way they should go. This is, this is a new way to make disciples relationally. And I'm going to teach them. I'm going to let old dogs learn new tricks. That's what I heard the Lord say. It's going to, it's going to work. Don't, don't be nervous, Tim. It's going to happen. That encourages me. That's good. As you're even just sharing that with me and with the listeners, you know, it also kind of primes our brain to, to, you know, enjoy God's peace and God's presence. So just you sharing that and verbalizing that, it, it brings me excitement just hearing yeah. that. And, and the scripture says we overcome the evil one by the words of our testimony. So testimony is a memory of right. God's goodness, right? And so when we share it out loud, it pushes faith into the atmosphere it pushes the reality of god it you know when i'm despairing it's when i don't think god's around or god likes me or there is a god at all right. and all of a sudden when i'm conscious of the lord the the god of all creation is mm -hmm. right here with me that's emmanuel boom that's good news that's really good news i mean, everything's going to be okay yeah Wow, that is there anything? One more thing that you think that that if I'm like trying to get out of a hole that I can do that would help my relational circuit open and my joy to pop? You know what's what's kind of fun actually is yawning. We don't think about <laughs> yawning, but yawning is actually like a, Olympic athletes will yawn before a big race. It actually kind of refreshes your nervous system. So we've learned yawning is like not socially acceptable. But you know what? It's a good thing for you. So even right. if we just take a moment and yeah, try to yawn or, you know, it's just taking that deep breath. Yeah. It's you actually can even fake a yawn. Reset. Somebody told me yawning is like rebooting your computer. It is. That's exactly right. That's a great way of putting it because that's goodness. what it does for your nervous system. Yeah. So, you know, uh, in, our, in our church family, we, we have learned, we have basically said, 
uh, eye contact and mm. hugging are our normal. Good. And greeting each other with delight, like I, we are so glad to be with you. And it's sincere because you mm. can't fool people. Right. You know. Yeah. So in our in our family culture, affection, delight, hugging, eye contact, and basically with our face sending the message. Wow. You are so amazing, and I love you, and I love being with you. Wow. And even if you're, if you, even if you're not feeling amazing, I like being with you. It doesn't matter. I like you. That's that's cool. And that's a garden where good things are going to grow. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's like a family. Like you know, that's what we need in our families and our communities. Right. Like that is where joy can grow. Because even if I'm like relationally offline, to experience that really does help my brain to wake up and be present and anchored. Mm-hmm enjoy yeah you know just to, just having eye contact with somebody that is not your enemy <laughs> so, <laughs> just, I mean, just taking a minute and looking at somebody for a little uncomfortable one extra second it's just a little here i'll get up here and you can yeah. so you feel connected person. feel That's connected right. with you you feel connected and the eyes are the eye window gate of the soul and sometimes yeah. janet and i my wife janet We'll just sit there and kind of smile and stare at each other for a little while. And then it becomes overwhelming and we're kind of like, woo. And then we got to like look down a little bit. Good. But we practice eye contact. So these are great tools, Chris. Very practical. They are. They are. And, And I think that, you know, there's some people right here listening that probably are even struggling with depression. Yeah. And depression is prolonged loss. Yeah. And loss that comes from broken relationships and loss that comes from, you know, disconnection. And I'm going to, let's pray for whoever's listening, whether they're in deep depression or whether they're doing okay, because every single person listening could use some more joy. Yes. Yes. So Chris, would you just pray for us? I'd be honored. I'd be honored. Lord God, I just, I'm reminded of Peter walking on the water and and Lord, when his eyes were fixed on you and I imagine your joyful presence, boy, he was, he was afloat. But the moment his eyes shifted to the, the wind and the waves, Lord, that he lost his footing. And so, Lord, I just pray for my brothers and sisters, Lord, who are struggling, feeling depressed or hopeless or anxious. Lord, I do pray that you would just um, show them your face, Lord. Let them just feel the peace that comes with your presence and the joy. And Lord, help them to feel that they're not alone for you are with them. And so Lord, calm and quiet the storms in their lives and their hearts. And I just pray that they would experience your peace and your joy today, that you are right there with them. You are the living God who is near and not far away. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Chris. Hey, you know what? We want to encourage you to keep at it, Chris. This is like life and death. Oh, it's a and joy. It's so good to be with you. <laughs> you too. And uh, thank you, everyone. Come back tomorrow. We've got more in store. So we love you all. We'll talk later. Yep. See you later, everybody.